Vivian Kistler, and I'm here to show you several different types of mat cutters and many different types of mats to cut. We're going to cut singles, doubles, ovals, B-groove accents, and offset mats. Now first, we're going to get started with a mat cutter, and this basic mat cutter here is a Logan Compact Cutter. It's a nice, simple principle. It works very easy, and it's simple to use. This has got a black vinyl cover on it, and it's a half-inch thick board, and underneath there are these little feet that keep it from sliding. Now when you put it down on the table, make sure your table is really flat and uh, so that you don't get any bow when you're starting to cut the mats. This has got a guide rail on it for the cutter to ride on. And then we've got this sidebar. This is the mat guide, and you loosen the little buttons, push them down, and this will move side to side. And the point of that is to guide how wide you want that mat cut to be. Let's have a look at this cutting head. This cutting head is calibrated so that when you push down on this, the blade will come out just the exact amount of space that you need so that it will cut one board and then it will scratch your slip sheet. And then it will pop back up again. Now these two little hooks here hook onto your guide rail so that your uh, cutter will always run parallel and give you a nice even border on your mats. Let me show you the other side of this. The nice part about this cutter is it has a little marking right here and this is to show you when to stop and start your cuts because when you're cutting a bevel and from the back of the mat board, it's hard to know where you're supposed to stop and start. So we'll show you how to cut a real nice mat with one of these cutters. Before we cut mats, we're going to have to blank the boards. We're going to have to have an exact rectangular piece in order to cut our mat from. So the boards are larger. They come up to size 32 by 40, so you're going to have to trim them down. And in trimming that down, you're going to have to measure on the back side of the large board using a pencil and a good T-square. Make sure it's accurate because you have to start out accurate in order to have an accurate opening. Now this is the cutter that you use for trimming it down. This is a straight cutter. So instead of cutting a bevel as the other head did, this one was going to cut straight. So let me show you how this guy works here. This unscrews like so and this face plate holds the blade in place. Now this blade can be put in any one of these three positions. The top one here is for storage. The one that's in the middle here is for cutting a mat board, and then this lower one will position the blade out the most, and that's for cutting something like foam center board. Now we're going to cut mat board, so we're going to put this on the middle one, and just put the screw back in here, and it'll hold it nice and flat, and keep the blade from warping or moving in any fashion, and it'll do a nice job for us. These two hooks here will hook right onto our guide rail so that we'll get a nice clean cut. We'll set this aside. I'm going to need to take off this side mat guide here. And by, to do that, we unscrew these little black knobs, push them down, and then lift up the mat guide. That's if your hands aren't slippery. There we go. And this comes right out. You can see this little knobs in here. This keeps a mat guide in there. It's very easy to take off. Set that aside. Put my board in and trim this down to the size that I want. Now, take your cutter, put the cutting head onto this guide rail, and just bring it down. There we go, and that's blanking a board. Because of this hinge down here, you're able to cut a very large board. Now, here's a large piece of mat board here. If I wanted to trim this down, I put it in here. You take out your side rail off there, and you put this in. And say this was even larger than this, you could still cut it down, or you can even make a mat that's very large. Because what you do is you can start like so, put your cutter up here, bring it down, and then you'd lift it up, leave your cutter on the little guide rail here, get it on there, and then slide this up like so, and then continue on until you finish your cut comes in real handy when you've got some large boards to cut down or some large mats to make. We use a slip sheet because it stops the fraying of the mat surface. Because the mat surface paper is put onto many layers of paper to make a mat board, and when you put the blade through, and especially because since we're working on the back side of the mat, it'll make frays in the board. So if you use a slip sheet, it pins the mat board fibers right in there and you don't get the phrase. As long as you've got a nice sharp blade, of course, that would help. Now we're going to measure off 
because we're going to have to run our cutter against this bar and we've got to know where we're going to stop and start. So I've got my measurements here. I've used a pretty hard pencil here or actually a pretty dark pencil for you to see so that you can see the stopping and starting of this. Now I'm going to put this cutter right on the little rail here. I'm going to match up this little marking here with your pencil mark. Put your fingers on both sides, top and bottom here, and hold it still, just so it doesn't shift around when you push the blade in. Because you'll put the blade in at an angle into the mat board and stop up at the next pencil line. Lift up the cutter just by pulling it up. So you're pushing down, and then you just lift it up like so. Turn to your next side. You'll be amazed how fast you'll be able to do this after a while. Like so. Bring it over here. Do all four sides. Once you get your pencil mark, if you have to do a lot of them, sometimes you just line up, do all your pencil marking, and then you'll be able to just do one right after the other. Get ready for a big showing of art, and you have to make a lot of frames, a lot of mats. There's the mat. It's perfectly cut. The corners are excellent, just as neat as clean as it can possibly be.